Thank you for joining me for another Quick Hits Conversation. I'm Dr. Robin. With me today, I have Kevin Wash. He is a coach, mentor, author, trainer, and speaker, running a consultancy business specializing in sales for international property development. He is based in Spain, but today he comes to us from Cairo. I have Brandon Mahoney. He is the co-founder of LaunchPoint Labs, a national venture firm where he is an expert in creating sales departments. And I have Camille Diaz. She is a optimization coach, creating custom systems and processes you'll love so you can do it, stick to it, and get lasting results. The question I have today, what is friendship? Brandon, what do you think? So this is such a tricky question. At first glance, I was like, oh, friendship. I know what friendship is. And when I started really digging into it, not a simple question at all. And I started looking at my my relationships, my friendships, what makes this relationship not a friendship, but a partnership versus this relationship, which is a friendship. Comparing my longest friendship with my newest friendship. There's so many different characteristics. I had a really hard time identifying, if I had to write a definition of what friendship is, I, I don't know if it would ever be complete. It would be continuously evolving and growing. Mm. Yeah, I I gave this some serious thought too, because I thought, what is it that really makes a good friendship? Sometimes you think it's the person that's always there for you or always nice to you or something like that. And I'm like, no, sometimes your friend says you're on your own for this one, or they they tell you there's broccoli in your teeth or something like that. Like they're they they really help you out. So I feel like the friend is the person who understands you, like really understands you, and they leave the judgment out. So you get to be yourself and you understand them and leave the judgment out. So they get to be themselves and you get to do that together. And then you're friends. And the more you can do that with someone, the more comfortable you become, the more you understand the other person, the deeper your friendship is. There's some great lines to describe friendship. And for me personally, friendship is the family that you get to choose for yourself because you don't necessarily like your own family. And there's the great one, you know, friends are the ones that walk in when everybody else is walking out. I think for me that a true definition of friendship is there's usually a history and the history can be good and it can be bad, but it means that you've kind of come through these things and you're still talking and you're prepared to be honest with each other. I also think a huge thing about friendship is it doesn't have to be time related. I've got great friends around the world And I might not speak to them or see them from one year to the next. But when I do, it's like I left them 10 minutes ago. And that really determines friendship for me. I think people use the word friendship when what they mean is acquaintance. This is someone I know. This is someone I I may have coffee with. When I used to do a lot of speaking, I had a joke. A good friend will help you move. A great friend will help you move a body. And... (laughs) (laughs) To your point, Kevin, there are people in my life who I may not talk to on a regular basis, but I know if, if something comes up, I can always count on them. I can call them and say, I need help. And they're like, I'll be on the next plane. The person that's a contact on Facebook is, is classed as a friend. Mm -hmm. I actually challenged some people recently to look at their Facebook friends Mm -hmm. and tell me two things. How many of them do you actually know personally? And how many of them have you actually spoken to in the last 12 months? The numbers are amazing. Well, I know 20 of them. I've spoken to three of them. Uh, And they're not friends at all. Acquaintances, contacts. I don't know what they are, but they're not friends. Mm -hmm. I love that. Uh, Because I've I've never made the mistake of thinking that my social media network are friends of mine. but when we start thinking about the, the acquaintance versus friends, I absolutely have a ton of acquaintances that I, to myself, call friends. But they're not necessarily individuals that I would hit up to say, hey, I'm moving. Can you help me out? Hmm. Yeah, there's another piece to it, though, because I think about all of the people I know from doing quick hits. There's about 300 people on the list. If any one of them called and was like, hey, I just, I need a chat. Can I, can you give me 20 minutes? I'd be like, yeah, I'll give you 20 minutes. Is that friendship? Is that acquaintance? Is that just being a human? What is that? Maybe that's just you being a good human, Robin. I'm not, I wouldn't necessarily say that's friendship. If you have a real friend, there's no subject that's off limits. Mm-hmm. And whether that's me talking to them or me listening to them, there is nothing off limits because there are times when things happen to people in their lives and they need to talk to somebody about it. Mm -hmm. And that's where a friend is prepared to listen. What I feel like we're getting towards is like a sliding scale of friendship. 
-hmm. It's not necessarily your friend or not friend. And you just like, just cut everybody off in a line. You've got people that you are acquaintances with. Yeah, I know who they are. I recognize them in a crowd. You've got people who, if they called and they asked for 20 minutes, yeah, oh, yeah, I'll talk to you for 20 minutes. Sure, no problem. You've got people who, if they called and said, hey, I'm going to be in town. Do you want to get together for coffee? Oh, yeah, I'd be happy to do that. And then you've got your people who are like, you could stay at my house while you're in town. That's a different mm -hmm. level of yeah. friendship. And then you have the people who, hey, something happened. And you're like, I'll get my shovel in my truck, like whatever it is, right? <laughs> so, so you've got this whole sliding mm -hmm. scale of comfort level. And it just depends on how fast that happens and how many people it happens with because it's not going to happen with everybody there's mm -hmm. some people that are going to be at the the little entry point and then there's some people that you're going to go way deep mm -hmm. well and it's interesting because i said anybody could call me and i give them 20 minutes and that's true i wouldn't give them 20 minutes every day unless they wanted to pay me and so that's yeah. the thing for me is i kind of do this for a living so when you say nothing's off limits i have clients nothing's off limits you can tell me anything no such thing as yeah. tmi but that's a client relationship and it's not reciprocal. And I think that's something that's important to friendship is that my clients pay me to be available to them. Yes, yes. They don't have to deal with any of my nonsense. I don't call them, but it's not reciprocal. So I think maybe a friendship is there's a reciprocal piece in it. I, think I really like that a, point. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. I think there's also, there's an element of fickleness to it. If you meet somebody, they say, oh, this person's so popular. They've got so many friends. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've lived several decades and I think I'm quite a nice person sometimes. And I think if I was to count the real genuine friends I've got, I probably wouldn't need my second hand. Mm. So when somebody tells me they've got lots and lots of friends, generally, I find that person to be quite fickle. I wonder if it depends on, and it probably does, how much effort you put into cultivating those friendships. Sometimes we don't have time to build lots and lots of friendships. I'm sure it's doable, but do I have the time and the energy to go there with that many people? Usually not. Usually I've got these few and that's working for me. And so I'm fulfilled and they are too. And I don't need to go look for tons of other deep relationships. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a fantastic point. I think one thing I realized, so I'm originally from the East Coast, having moved across the country about three years ago. Uh, I had a ton of friends back on the East. I could go out and I'd see them and it'd be, it'd be great. I don't talk to them anymore since moving out here. But those that I've stayed in contact with, not only do I talk with them more that I'm over here, when I go home, we have plans set up to see each other. And it almost feels like those friendships have really strengthened since I have moved away. And then the other friends that I had will message me like, oh, hey, you know, I didn't know you were in town. We could have gotten together. And I'm like, well, you could have called me. You could have texted me. I visit pretty often. I, I do wonder about that. Is that do the friends I have, are they friends because they happen to be in my life now for this season? Or are they friends that even if things change, we would stay in touch or that I would call? And I do feel like the person who was my best friend in my 20s, our lives have been really, really different. She is someone that I know if I needed to call, she would be there for me based on the foundation that we created in our 20s. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Robin. I have a, a friend very similar to that. In my early 20s, we were really close. Me and this guy, we had very similar backgrounds. Um, and through one thing and another, we, our lives took us in radically different directions. And I probably didn't see, hear or speak to the guy for maybe the next 30 odd years. And during the COVID period, he actually reached out and he said to me, why don't we have a chat? So I said, yeah, great, why not? We, I mean, we're both old fogies. On the first Saturday of every month, we have, a, we have a scheduled Zoom call, we spend an hour, and it's like we've gone back 40 years in our life. We're talking about things we did then, we're laughing, we're learning about each other's lives. And it's like, we've known each other all our lives, but we had a, a, literally a 35 year gap, but the friendship was true and strong. It just took a gap in the middle. Mm -hmm. I was just chatting about that with the, with someone the other day about how we know certain people that we talk to. And if you don't talk to them regularly, it's a little bit awkward to reach out. And then there are other people that you can not talk to them for two or three years, send them a text message, and they respond right back like right. it's been zero time at all. And those are our favorites. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, that is our 10 minutes. So I'm going to cut us off there. There's a part of me that feels like I should say thank you for being my friends, but I don't know if that (laughs) applies or not. I'll have to, you'll have to let me know. Anyway, I look forward to speaking to each of you again really soon, whether you consider me your friend or not.